March the 6th of 2019, and today we did tang I, I, we said it was Baller's technique, but it's tango technique class day today. Mm -hmm. okay. With drills. With drills. So we started with ochos. Being, um, do you want to do it with me? So they can see a yeah, version of it. Okay. So we started with just step forward, pivot. Step forward, Collect, pivot. pivot. The techniques that we start to layer on top of this, first one is that we step and we're pivoting on one foot. We don't want to paddle through this or put our other foot down. So the thing that Stephanie asked you to do was step, collect and bring your foot off the floor and pivot. Keep it off the floor and then step. Keep it off the floor, pivot, keep it off the floor and step. Yeah, this is one way to check. This is an exercise, not how I'm suggesting you do your own. No. The second technique that she started talking about was thinking about your torso taking you in the direction and thinking about, okay, my torso needs to end up that way, so I'm going to go to there. Did I say that right? Is that mm -hmm. how you describe it? Yeah, we practice quarter turns. So saying I go head, head, shoulders, head, shoulders, hips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter which foot I'm standing on. We do it both ways, both directions. Um, and so I know I can do a quarter turn takes that much effort. So it's exactly the same thing what I'm doing in my ocho, which is a quarter turn. I'm starting here, I'm ending here, right? That's how much effort so that I can really make it effortless and stop and keep the balance a little bit easier. I did bring up the point that there are a variety of techniques that are relatable when you do this. So the one that we're using right now is we're taking our torso, allowing it to arrive, and then re-wrapping our torso. There's a different technique, which is where we think of like we're holding a plate of glass here, and we try not to allow our torso to move at all, and we switch our hips. We keep our torso and switch our hips. We keep our torso and switch our hips. This is a different category of technique, but still one that is just as valid and should be practiced. You can practice this with a partner. So we did that real quick, just walking across the room and going here, so that you can have something static to feel what it feels like if you did have a, a bar or a plate of glass. Then, we did the flick? Oh yes. So we did step, pivot, cross. Step, collect, pivot, cross. Step, collect, pivot, cross, etc. We also did ups and downs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both sides. We're looking to figure out where can I put my heel, how much space do I need to clear my leg without kicking it when I have my heels on and then say I can be stable and steady while I'm playing with this foot, which we do in things like blocks. You also talked about your knee. Yeah, my knee, I'm, I like to put my knee in the middle, so it's not right here and it's not crossed over. It's splitting the difference so that I can keep it static, whether it's going up or down, and get my foot on either side of my calf. Um, you asked, some of you asked about, well, could you show us how you apply this in the dance? And this is kind of a semi-contrived example where we're doing forward ochos and she's just gonna cross. Or she's at, are you going to add extra stuff? Okay. I don't know what she's doing. No, just do the <laughs> exercise with the cross. Oh, sorry. And so she might add in a cross in those. And then for the ups and downs, it was a couple of examples to use for a parada. Or a cabecita. Um, theater stuff? Yeah. So we added, it, so a lot of this, these, so when, 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 when it's like followers technique class and then all women show up, which is great, the leaders need to go to the, not that all leaders are men and all followers are women, but, oh, it's on the, the internet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so well, when, uh, leaders don't take followers technique classes, <laughs> when, um, so these are, it's, it's just forward ochos, but we have slightly different styling. So one example would be that we're crossing at the same time as we're pivoting. This creates a different type of dynamic that's also a little bit more leader-esque, right? So that's one exercise. Another is that we're going point, and then we snap that cross. Step point, and then we snap that cross. Step point, and then we snap that cross. Another one, which is applicable to both, is ba ya da da And we have a little bit of this ya da da to it. And then if we want to get sort of fancier, ya da 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 yum, ba ya da da yum, ba ya da da yum, ba. We start leveling all that stuff up, but they're still just forward ochos. The other exercise I did with everybody was walking and being able to do lock pieces, saying I can go forward, side, back, step, forward, side, back. And my hips aren't 
like wobbling. I'm not pulling the leg, doing all sorts of things. I really want this level and the upper body's very quiet while I'm doing that. I'm also keeping my turnout to a minimum. I'm either parallel, a little bit of turnout's okay, but a lot of turnout causes some other problems. Um, Charlie asks us if I could do some of those leader moves. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have, for example, uh, out, yeah. Ba da yum, ba da yum, ba 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 ba, and that would be in that cross position sort of stuff. And then the other one was um, um, keto footwork. Oh, keto footwork. Oh, well, mm, I guess the <laughs> other exercise would be yeah, would be that other one. Would be tacking that one in. Mm -hmm. Is that good, Charlie? Then we did the kiddos. So we worked on being able to go forward, side, back, side. I'm looking for two tracks here and saying I can stop in the middle. I can stop in the middle, stop in the middle. Both directions to the other side, side, back, side. And we talked about why that back pivot matters so much for followers when the leader is doing something. That's usually in our footwork when something's happening. So. When I'm going forward side, and then I feel the back, that's often when he's doing it in Rosque or something else, and so the lead kind of gets quieter, and we need to still be really strong and keep our balance. The example for that would be, there's the lot piece on the back of it. Right here. There's the lot piece on the back of it. There's the lot piece on the back of it. And if I don't do that, I can really either send myself away, because I didn't pivot my base leg enough, or I can end up crossing myself, and that gets kind of hard to free my, my other leg. Quite a bit. The partnership exercise for this was forward, side, back, side. And you're making a box, so you can double check your footwork every time. <coughs> say, okay, do we have four squares? Ah, we went off that way a little bit. Bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> he loves practicing with me. Back. Yeah? We don't, see, I'm too far and he's too crossed, so we lost our balance a little bit, which is not a huge deal, but <laughs> that's what I'm going for. No, we're perfect. It's on the internet. <laughs> no, we're perfect. And then, uh, so if you want to get ridiculous with this, leaders, you can do forward side, back side, and put it into like a, just, a, just a kind of a dumb exercise. Forward, side, back, side. And it's the same pattern, but with cicadas, and it gets all crazy. Okay.